Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Lili Nishmasi Mimir Rossi Yuzvas Mordechai. Sponsored by Avromi Lebovitz and his sons, Shmili, Zev, and Yechiel, that listen to this amazing shir. Lili Nishmasi, my father in law, that's your buddy, Avromi Lebovitz. And the grandfather, Shmuel Ben Sholem. Lili Nishmasi, my father in law, and their grandfather, Shmuel Ben Sholem. Lichtman. Yard side, Gimel Alder, 30 second yard side. Who is a special person, was nifted at a young age. And is buried right next to the Holy Ribnitzer Rebbe, Schuse Yogan Aleinu, by Shlomi Rosenberg, the Nishmas, Harav Reb Shimon, Ben Reb Yehuda, Leib Akoyin, Gimel Adar, Yankel Irving, in honor of Jonathan Stefanski, virtuoso performance and being the recipient of the Planters Pesach Krone Award. Such nachas has not been seen in new work since IDTE. I have no idea what's going on. I hope you understand. Philip Roth and the hot summer of 67. Lo yodeh, lo yodeh. Maybe it's a bunch of, you understand it? No, nobody understands. Besides, you understood? We got, I got a lot of comments how great it was. I actually got, yesterday, a Hasidic guy sent me, he said, I hope you weren't insulted by that whole thing. I, I'm like, what are you, crazy? I loved every second, every nuance with the collar, with moving the thing, with looking for the dead, everything. It's Givaldic. Shkoyach, Jonathan. By Anonymous, Lili Nishmas. And he said, I don't like Anonymous. Lili Nishmas, a chover yichil ben a chover Yosef. On the 12th yards of my wife's grandfather, Max Rosenberg, Zechat Tzadik Levrocha, a pillar of the brewer, com, brewer, brewer's community. Dedicated his life to yeshiva's success and the Yiddish kind of his family. By Yossi Shasha. Yossi Shasha, I think that's how you say it, right? We went through this a few times. Vo Shleima for Shmuel ben Dvoiro, a young father of three, with a giving heart that never stops. Please keep him in mind for a complete recovery. Oh, we have plenty of time. Rabbi Isai, here, this is from Keith Reich, from White Plains, New York. I've been with you since the first day of Brachas and haven't missed a daf. I attended a conservative day school. I'm 99 years old. Nah, it doesn't. I attended a conservative day school in New York but left after gr- ninth grade. So I hadn't learned Gemara since 71. 71. That's a year before I was born. Although a lot of learning is over my head, I've stuck with it because of you. I particularly enjoy the stories about your personal life. Ah, oh, so let me tell you, Maisa, nah, later. Many of which resonate with me. But none resonated. Listen, from all the mices, all the mices. Listen, what resonated the most? <laughs> yeah, there's a very, very good comparison today. Oiz. But none resonated with me more than the lamb chops at your daughter's wedding. I love lamb chops. When I was growing up, my mother made lamb chops frequently. But my wife refuses to buy lamb chops because a friend of hers accidentally left lamb chops in the oven too long, wasting more than $600 of meat. But my daughter, he doesn't say but, my daughter is getting married in August. And one of the decisions we have to make, big, big decision here, whether or not to spend an extra $2,500 for lamb chops. Because my wife and I, we will probably be spending most of the wedding schmoozing with our guests. Realize that we'd be lucky to have time to eat dinner. So we decided... 86 to 86 lamb chops. And instead, serve them at a family barbecue when my daughter and son-in-law get back from the... Listen, everybody takes whatever they need to take out of the shear. <laughs> I mamish. You hear this, Jonathan? Mamish. Next poem. Mamish, you mamish changed my life. The way you discussed those barbecue ribs. Unbelievable. <laughs> Rabbi Isai, here's one from Avrom Apter, 14-year-old. The story from Reb Kiva in the fire happened to Reb Chanina ben Tradyoin. What are you talking about, Rebelli? No, he doesn't say that. And then here's another one from Tzvishir. I know how much you like to be corrected. Last week when you mentioned the, the Maisa of Reb Kiva and the executioner, the Maisa was Reb Chanina ben Tradyoin. Thank you for so much incredible job in breaking down the Psukim. Oh, here's somebody that likes the Psukim. It gives, I was thinking about it yesterday. So we had the three phobias that children, uh, people have. So I wanted to say that maybe that's more like children. They're scared of benching, of fleshics, hamapel. What are, what are, so Malachim or David Feinberg, the statistician in the house? And Avi Kamiansky's in the house. Unbelievable. Yeah, how many days has it been since you left here? 
Um, David, no? Everybody together, and you left. Shabbos daf ches. The 70, oh, it's that 70 daf into minus 400. This is what? This is 408. So how many, how many days is that? 338. 338 days ago, David Feinberg walked out of the base Medrash, and he's back today for the first time. Rabbi say there's, there's a good reason why they call him the statistician. It's like this. <laughs> I have another list. What are, what's the phobia of a Dafiyami Yid? Phobia. So a few phobias. Missing a word. Not getting to the bottom of the page. But here's the real one. Tum and Tahira. People are, you say the word Tum and Tahira, especially if you tell them, oh, we have 40 daf of Tum and Tahira. Whee! Psukim. A daf of Psukim. They can't, they can't. Drushes. That's what I mean. Drushes. Psukim. You know what else? A very long tesis. Not a lot of people do, but when you see a long tesis, you start having a heart attack. Oh, so for Dafyami guys, the tesis is the best thing ever. The longer, the better. Some Dapim have a tesis that's so huge that there's only one line of Gemara, and the oil goes, wow, thank goodness for tesis. I'm not going to look in it, but it's a great thing that tesis is here. So anyways, Yishkot the Shmuley Bernard, who, taught, who reminded me about this Tum and Tyra business. Tum, tum and Tyra and Kachim. So Kachim, Tum and Tahira, Taisvis, Psukim, there's a bunch of things. Okay. We can learn Tyra now. <laughs> That's a fear. Rabbi, I have to share with you this one thing. I have to ask uh, Avi Factor. This might be illegal. You know, the HIPAA laws, you're not, you're not allowed to say Lashon Har about yourself. I don't know if you're allowed to show your own medical records to, to, to small Tiber like we have here today. But I told the Ayulam, here's my original laboratory results. I'm showing it to you. I don't care. Cholesterol, 198. Triglycerides, 167. LDL cholesterol, 141. And HDL 30. Now, here's the good news. A month and a half, I'm being on a serious diet, losing 21 pounds, intermittent fasting, you can do whatever you want. I'm not a doctor, I'm not, just be healthy. Here are the new numbers. So it went from 141 to 114. Right in line, right in the middle over there. From 167 to 118, the triglycerides. And over here, if I understand it correctly, the uh, regular cholesterol, went from 198 to 138. Why not? Because we have to be healthy. We got to go on diets. And if it worked for me, it could work for anybody. I was bepachad noira. I thought, that's it. It's all over. I have crazy cholesterol. And people should check themselves. Get blood tests. All right. Because I want the oilam to be around, to finish us. I don't need people like... And one of the biggest things, people go bye-bye from COVID is the cholesterol business. The... I need everybody on the cruise. Baruch atah adin no yelena melech yilam shakor niye bedvaroi. We also have to finish the parak today. It's a little late. Says the Gemara. We are holding all the way in the bottom of pei hei omed beis. Hachaloi no yisvoi biachoyma. The thickness of the wall and the windows we said are considered like the inside. Omarav gagim valiyos loy niskatu. Here's Allah. Again, Rav likes to drop these bombs. He says, Allah runs away. The rooftops and the second stories of in Yerushalayim and in the Azara don't have Kedusha. Do not have Kedusha. In other words, if you're going to eat a, a Kachi Kachim, you're going to eat a Chatos Asham in the Azara, do not do so on the second floor. If you're going to eat your Kachim Kalim, your Shlamim, your Pesach, don't do so on a rooftop. You're not allowed to do it on a rooftop. Eini, last year, Pesach, everybody remembers, was a very difficult time. Eretz Yisrael was locked down. I don't know about America. I'm sure it was the same thing. You couldn't go. You couldn't visit. Families were broken up. So after, we were davening on porches then. So after davening, yeah, after davening, I got in the mood. I don't know where the inspiration came from. I screamed from my rooftop. Right when davening was over, I said, good, good yantif there, we were screaming yantif. I said, Rabbi Isai, let's meet here at 10.30, whatever it was, and let's sing. Anyways, I don't, 
I don't know, but we, we came out. Yeah, it was my idea. It was my idea. He stole my idea. He stole, Reb Chaim stole my idea. I didn't hear it. Oh, he said Manishtana. We sing Magish Baruch Hu. It was beautiful, beautiful. So many, a bunch of families came out. You were one of them? No? Yeah, you were one. He doesn't remember. Didn't leave an impression on him. Love an impression on him. Where does it come from from this Gemara right here? Eini. Vomarav Mishum Rebichio. Kezeso Pischa. There's so many people per each carbon Pesach that there were a lot of people there. The Halela and the Halal that these people said after they finished eating carbon Pesach, Poka Igro. Tore down the rooftops. Huh? Rafs and Igro. Poka Igro. Broke the rooftops. In other words, there's so many people. So where were they eating the Pesach? L'chayr, where were they saying the halo, which is on the rooftop? And that's a problem, my love. The achli b'igro, v'ami b'igro. You, Rav, said that there's no gdush on the rooftop. Over here it says they ate the carbon Pesach on the, on the rooftop. That you're allowed to eat kachim on the rooftop. Loi, the achli b'aro, v'ami b'igro. No, not right. They ate inside their house in the living room. When they went outside later... I actually saw videos of, of even non from people in Tel Aviv. Unfortunately, I hope an Arab took the video, but they were also singing these songs from the Mirpes. It was beautiful stuff. Anyway, the Achli Ba'ara Amri Bi'igro. Eini Vatnan, Eimaftir Nachar Pesachavi Koimon. You cannot eat anything after you eat the Korban Pesach. So the way the Gemara is learning the word Afi Koimon, Va'amar Rav, Rav learns the word Afi Koimon, Apik Monayu. You shouldn't take out your kalim. You shouldn't travel after you eat the carbon paste. You shouldn't go to another place. You're in this group. Don't go to another group. The concern is you might eat carbon paste in a different group. We're going to see on this Amr, the Machloikas, you're allowed to go to another group. Not allowed to grow, but you're not allowed to be part of another group. Says the Gemara Loi Kashi, Kan Bishas Achilo, Kan Shaloi Bishas Achilo. All right, so there's enough communion between over here, they were already finished. How could they leave their place? The Shaila is, how could you say halal on the roof? The answer is, because they were already done with the meal. We're not concerned you're going to eat more Pesach. Toshma. Abshalo Imer, Aliyah's base Kochi HaKadoshim, Chamuro me base Kochi HaKadoshim. There's a Chumra, the way it worked is, the Heichal, a very tall building. Right? 100 am, 120 am, very tall. The, each, each floor, so, which includes the Kodesh HaKadoshim, was 40 Amas tall in the Bayi Sheni. Bayi Sheni was 30. So you have 40 Amas, which is approximately 80 feet. That's how tall the ceiling was, 80 feet. On top of that, there's another floor, also 40 Amas. The second floor that's above the Kodesh HaKadoshim, nobody ever went in there. They only went in for maintenance. How often? We know I am Kippur, the Kohen Gadol went in a bunch of times, came in, came out, sprinkled the blood, took out the guitars, put in the guitars, the whole thing. Valley is basically but only once a year on, on Yom Kippur. Valley is basically but the second floor, once every seven years. Twice every seven years. Either once every 50 years, once every seven years, twice every... It was very rare to go. Nobody hung out there. They, they went in there to see if there's any cracks, any repair. So I had more Kedusha. Why does Rav say there's no Kedusha on the second floor? There's no, there's no Kedusha on, a, on a Aliyah. There's no Kedusha on, 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 on a rooftop, says Rav, in Yerushalayim, in the Beis Hamikdash. No way. Lay that my Yitzricha. Om Rav Yosef. No, zero, nothing, nothing. Just dust. I don't know if there's dust. There's no humans. There's no construction. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It was a locked safe. You walk in there. And that's it. Omar Rav Yosef, Mehechal Neikom Venei Vinish. You're going to stand over there in the Hechal and ask me a question on Rav. Shani Hechal, Dechsiv, Vaitin David Lashem Ebenoi, is Tavdis Hulam. David Amelech gave Shloima his son the, the, the printout, the layout, the, the architectural design, the blueprint. Thank you. The blueprint of the Ulam. Vez Batov, Vez Ganzakov. The, the storage rooms, the, the, the rooms, the Aliyosov. Oh, this is the important word. Valiyosov. He gave him the blueprint of the second floor. Bechadara of the rooms. Haprimim, Ubeisa Kapoyas. And it says a few psukum later, Uchsiv, Hakol Bechsav, Miyad Hashem, Olai Hiska. We had this posting a number of times. It was from Akash Borchu. Akash Borchu designed the blueprint. Memelev, Akash Borchu designed the blueprint. So he designed 
the second floor of the Kodesh HaKadoshim. So it has Gdusha. You're asking me how, why it has Gdusha? Because HaKadosh Baruch designed it. However, other things, the Aliyos, other things, there's no design from Hashem, they don't have Gdusha. Toshma. So you have these, you have these uh, lishkois, like little rooms that are off the Azara. So if they are built inside the Azara, but they're open, their doors are to the Choyl. Over here, Harabais is called Choyl. It's called, not, not as Kaddish, obviously, as the Azara. They're open to the Harabais. So they have a Gdusha like Harabais. But the rooftop is Kaddish. But Rav says, it's not. They don't have Gdusha, these, these roofs. Take him Rav Chizdo. <clears throat> it's because these rooftops are even on one plane with the floor of the Azara. So it's a continuation of the Azara, and it is the Azara, Memela, it has Gdusha. What if I care? You have a Lishka that's built outside of the Azara, but it's open to the Azara. The Allah is, Toychan Kodesh, Vigagisein Chal. The inside of these rooms, since they're open to the Azara, have Gdusha like the Azara, but the rooftop, not. If we're talking about that the rooftops are equal with the Azara, so these are considered tunnels. So why? So you're talking about the room that's below the Azara. Because if the rooftop is equal with the Azara, so this room that you say has a lot of Gdusha in it, is below. Below is already a tunnel. A tunnel doesn't have Gdusha. When he said that a tunnel doesn't have Gdusha, because it's open to Harabayis, that's Chayl. But if it's open to the Azara somehow, then it has Kedusha. The tunnels underneath the Eichol are not Kodesh. So okay. It depends. If you have an opening, even if it's like a staircase, whatever. You go down, but it's open to the Azara, so it has Gdusha. If it's open to the outside, it's Chal, so everything fits in. Toshma. Vigagoi Kodesh. The roof of the Heichal has Gdusha. Vitizbara, Vaktani, Gagan, Alalu, Einoichlim Sham Kachi Kachim, Einoichlim Sham Kachim Kalim. So on these roofs of the Heichal, the roof of the Heichal, you can't take a sheep and shecht it over there. <coughs> a. Even if the sheep is, let's say, a carbon pesach, a kachim kalim. And when you eat kachim, you eat a chatas. Where do you eat it? Inside the azara. You cannot climb up the stairs and go to this lishka. Let me ask you, Shiloh. Somebody asked this in the coil. I think it was a very simple answer. A matzari has to go outside of the three machanois. Could he go on top of a rooftop? In your shlime. There's no gdusha. According to the there's no gdusha on the rooftop. Let him go on top of the roof. Why does he have to be in nebach and go outside? And then we said yesterday, there's heat and there's rain and he has to protect himself. Let him go on the roof. Geschmack. I have a geschmack roof here for him. The answer is because he has to go out. It's not that he can't be in your... He has to go out. Going out means he has to leave completely. But when you're eating kachim, you have to be in a place of kedusha. Velo, kashigagoi, kodesh. But at the end of it, it says that the heichal, the, the roof of the heichal is kodesh. Now, What's the kasha? So I'll tell you, Hakush Baruch Hu made a kaddish, right? It's bothering everybody. Hakush Baruch Hu made the blueprints. The answer is, Hakush Baruch Hu made blueprints. He made the blueprints of the of the of the heichal. So the roof of the heichal is kaddish. What are you asking me? We just answered. Anything Hakush Baruch Hu made in the blueprint is kaddish. The answer is, if you look at the pasuk, Veganzakov, Valyoisa, Vechadara. It doesn't say anything about a Gag. Gag is not mentioned in this Pasuk. So, Hakol Bixav Miyad Hashem, which is said later on in blue, goes on the green, but it has to be within the green. And there's no mention of a Gag here. This is Rashi, not my Chiddush. <clears throat> okay? Omer Avchal Vaguya, Loisan Shtei Amois. Shteyamis is not referring to a measurement. It's referring to a tool called anama. It's a measuring stick. We had it. This not. There are two measuring sticks in the Beis Hamikdash. Shteyamis hoya habira. This is amazing because first of all, we're right in, before Purim, 
Shushan Abira. But this is a lesson in Akar Satayv. Because the Persian government allowed Klai Yisrael to go and build the Beis HaMikdash, so in the Beis HaMikdash itself, they had a whole depiction of Shushan. It's called Shushan Abira. Similar, I don't know, today, if you put out a flag, an American flag, because you have a Kars HaToyv that they allow, it's the first time in history that they allow Jews to, 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 to learn Torah, and they, they, they give money to, to, to yeshivas, all that. A Kars to the to a non-Jewish government. So, such a Muslim. I don't know if you could think of a better thing. What? Does, does she allow this place? I don't know. Pritzus! B'Shushan Abiro. So, anyways, so they put right over there by Shushan Abiro as a Koras Atoyv, the idea of a Koras Atoyv. Achaz al Kerem Mizrochis Safoinus. On the northeastern corner. Achaz al Kerem Mizrochis Droimus. Southeastern corner. Why two? Zusha al Kerem Mizrochis Safoinus. Hoysi Yisrael Shal Moshe Chatsi Edzba. The way it works is an Amo is six Tvachim. Each tefach is four thumbs wide. Four fingers. So how many do you have? 24. Six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Six plus six. A dozen plus another dozen? 24. Okay, great. That's Panovich math. 20 plus four is 24. Now, uh, here's a good one. If you're not from Panovich, so if I add another finger, 124th to it, what percentage of 24 is it? What percentage of 100 is, is one finger? Yeah, uh, regular, American math. It's about 4%. 4% more. So they added 4%. They added either a half edzba or a full edzba. 2% or 4%. So they had one measuring stick that was 2% more than the real measurement and one that was 4% more. Here comes a maisa. This goes back to my dating days. You'll ask me why. I don't know why. I went to a Knicks game in Madison Square Gardens. I'm not sure if it was with my wife, but I wasn't a very big professional. And if you know, they have these guys that scalp tickets. They hustle you. So I go to a guy, and I, I'm not sure how. I might have had tickets, or I might have bought tickets afterwards, but I wanted to buy tickets. So he comes over to me. He goes, I got good stuff, hot stuff, good stuff. So I go, okay. He says, uh, it's, it's, I said, but it's already, the game started. You can't charge me your, your full price. He goes, the game started? He goes like this. He shows me on his watch that there's 15 minutes to game time. I also had a watch. It was already, the game started. No, fine. So I hopped. He's a shtickle chakran. Kept on going. And for some reason, I meet this guy again. Either, I'm not sure if I had tickets to sell him and I wanted to upgrade. So, so I try to sell him my tickets. So he goes... What do you mean? The game started already. I go, the game didn't start. It's, a, it's 15 minutes before the game. He goes, the game started. Look, he had two, Maisa Shah, he had two watches. <laughs> Emma's, I'm serious. Emma's a story. So, fine. I don't know. We don't have time for more Maisa's. So anyway, I went into the game. <laughs> Here's another, this is why my wife married me. I'm not, not joking. She'll, she'll tell you. If she had to pinpoint the, the time, she decided, oh, that's, this is the guy. So I go into the I go into the stadium, sit down there with my with my th this girl I just met place two three days ago, and uh, I sit down. It's like 15 rows off the floor. I'm, I, we're sitting there five ten minutes. All of a sudden, this big gazunta whatever comes over. Get out of my seat! It's my seat. No, it's my seat. She shows me tickets. That it's her seat. Gets a whole commotion. It's my seat. It's your seat. The guy comes. He says, "Come with me." Takes my tickets. He comes back two minutes later. Uh, these tickets are reported stolen. Get out. <laughs> so I said, can I, can, I, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, okay. So I take him to the side. I said, listen, this is a blind date. I don't even know this girl. This is really embarrassing. You got to hook up a brother. You got to hook me up. So he goes, you know, okay, fine. He takes me down two rows off the floor. You can ask my wife. Two rows off the floor. He says, okay, this is it. I sat there the whole game. With her or What? <laughs> no, didn't smear nothing with her. Fine. So she said, ah, if, you, if you're able to, okay, fine. Weiter. How did we get into this? Oh, so we're, we have measuring sticks that are not 100% accurate. Why? This is 4% more. We measure with one and give back with the other. In other words, we don't want people to be over on the ELO. 
they're getting paid from Beis Hamikdash money. If they might, if they, if they'll short the Beis Hamikdash with a half a percent, they're stealing from Beis Hamikdash. So when they give back, they say, "I want you to build me a wall that's two amos long." We're going to make sure there's a there's a four percent cushion in there, so they, they don't make a mistake and they don't they're not over Amila. So why do we need two measuring sticks? Two different measurements. Of course, you're not going to make a guy give 4% extra when it comes to gold. He's building a table made out of gold. You can't make him do 4% more. 2%. And one is for the building. The windows and the thickness of the wall is like inside the base of uh, inside the base of the Yerushalayim. Okay, I can understand. You have a window where the bottom sill here, mom, it's like in this base measures. The sill is almost, but over here it's almost a couple inches off the floor. There's such a thing. So, Memela, according to Rav, the Kedusha keeps on going, continues from the floor into the windowsill. But, wall, the wall's all the way up there. How did the Kedusha get up there? Says the Gemara, there is a wall that's very low down that matches the floor. The, the lower wall, the Ksiv. So it, yeah, the, the higher bias is on the incline. So if I build a wall, at one point, my wall might hit the mountain. And then it keeps on going out. So that point that hits the mountain is equal with the Azara. And then it becomes a wall. And then the rest of the wall has Gdusha. Once it hits the Azara, it's a one plane with the Azara, then it gets Gdusha. <clears throat> okay. Just interesting to point out that the Shulchan Aruch says this real quickly. Shulchan Aruch says that when it comes to the Gdusha of a Beis HaKnesses, he says that on the second floor, you certainly shouldn't do any not nice things like sleeping, he says. But if it's like a Kiddush or something like that, I'm a Supak, he says. He says the Vilna going, why is he a Supak? The Shulchan Aruch always, he has a way, to, he paskins. He takes the three Rishayim, the Torah, and he goes two, two out of three, like that. Why over here is he misupik? He says he's misupik because he's not sure if a shul, and I, I took from this a big chizuk, a shul is either like the heichal or like the azara. That was a suffix. What's a shul? Like a heichal or like the azara? Can you imagine? That's it. I'm done with my walking. I gotta, it's, it's a heichal, a azara. Finished. You got to treat it like a heichal, a azara. Be'ez that, Hashem, that's it. Done. Zog the Gemara. Says the Mishnah, Shtei chaburoi shahoyu oichlim bebayis echot. We have a picture here from Kol Alshon. If you don't know what two chaburs look like, you have two groups sitting in one room, and they're eating one carbon Pesach. Now, we're going to see this machloikis. Can you take the one carbon Pesach to different places? Not. That's our Mishnah. So they turn away from each other. Even though they don't have to, what the Mishnah is saying is that they could. Even though they're breaking up into two groups, it's one carbon Pesach broken up into two, that's okay. Here's another cooler I could take. From who? Today's Mishnah is sponsored by Fischl, the official, sorry, let's start over. The official Mishnah is sponsored by Fischl from official catering. Shkoyachar official. Official. They're permitted to turn away from each other. And you're allowed to put the kettle here, smacking between them. So that also could perhaps provide a machitza between the people. We're not concerned. What's this mecham? It's warm water. They used to add the warm water to dilute the wine. Now the shamish, he is part of one group. So what does he do? But he has to serve the other group. And he's not allowed to be part of the other group. They tell him, shut your mouth and turn your face. It's a very strong lotion. Shut your mouth, turn your face. So he shuts his mouth. So he doesn't, so it doesn't look like he's going to eat. He's careful not to eat anything with the other chabura. He turns his head away from them. Akala was shy and embarrassed from all the attention she's receiving from all the guests. She could turn away <coughs> from her group. She's making another chabura, basically. She's, making, she's, she's by herself. But that's allowed in one Pesach. Says the Mishnah. Says the Gemara, 
Rabbi Yehuda, he, this goes according to Rabbi Yehuda, the Sanyo, Allah batim, it says in the Pasuk, Allah batim asher yoichlu oisoy bahem. Oisoy is referring to the carbon Pesach according to this man, the Omar. So I'm eating the carbon Pesach, where? In batim. One carbon Pesach in two houses. I can, I can break it up. I can take the carbon Pesach and break it into two. Perhaps I could t- eat here, start my Suda here. Rabbi we have to remember this. Start my Suda here and go somewhere else. Okay. What's going on here? We have a Shaila here. Yeah, it's Yeochel. You guys are right. But, but you're wrong. You're right and you're right. You're wrong. This is a famous machalik in Shas, Yeshein Lumikro or Yeshein Lumasiris. The way the word is written, Babayis Echod, Yud Aleph Chof Lamed. There's no Nakudas. We don't know what it says. Now, this is the Messiris. This is how we received it from Moshe Rabbeinu on Sinai. Yud Aleph Chof Lamed. The Mikro, the way we read it, pronounce it, is Yeochel, like you guys scream out. Yeochel means shall be eaten. Yoichal means you should eat it. It's very different. Rabbi Yudah is of the opinion that we go with Eim Lemesiris. At least according to Rashi's better favorite pshat. Doesn't like the other pshat. Yeshev Lemesiris. Yeshev Lemesiris. The way you receive it from Moshe Rabbeinu. It doesn't say Yeochel. That's a very funny way of writing it. Putting the kudas. Yeochel. Yoichal. Most of the Torah is Yoichal. So Meila, that's how he reads it. Yoichal. I, the Bakar says Yeochel. I don't care how he says it. I care how much Rabbeinu brought it down from Sinai. That's what's important to me. It says, in all Shas, Yeshayim Lemesiris or Yeshayim Lemikra. How do I darshan this word? The way we read it today in the Chumash, the way it's, the art school puts the Nekudis, or the way Moshe Rabbeinu gave it to you? Yoichal. He gave it to me, Yoichal. So, Meila, oh, that's the next sheet. Rabbi Shimba Yechai goes with the art school. Why is Yoichal Yoichal? Mikan Omru, Hasham is Sho'ochal Kezai is Bitzad HaTanor. Now, the waiter, you know that, that guy, he's doing the grill, he's in charge of the grill, and he says, let me taste it. So he takes a little, <laughs> little crumb off the carbon Pesach. That's it, he's stuck. Right there, he can't move from there. He cannot go to another place, because another place is already his second chabura, his second makam. So what does he do? He's stuck. He's stuck by the grill. They chopped him. He has to now admit to everybody that he, he took a little crumb off the Pesach, and why aren't you joining us? I can't. I'm stuck right here. I can only be in one table. One place. That's it. So what does he do? He continues eating. You got stuck. You got stuck. Finish up. The nice guys. Then they say, you know what? Instead of eating in our dining room nicely, in a beautiful seder, we'll eat it by the grill with all the smoke and everything. We'll sit next to you. We'll keep you company. Divri Rabbi Yehuda, because Rabbi Yehuda is of the opinion, Yoichal, he could only eat in one place. Shimon Oimer, the exact opposite. You could eat it in Batim. You could go to two different places. We just turned to that Peivov, on the base, Bantabakesh, and Nafshi.org. Schuz, for the struggling kids in pain of Klai Yisrael. Let's see if I can get through this without... Bumbling it again. For a first time for all Yisrael, especially from our MDY family, please consider joining MDY Tehillim Group at tehillim.8mindaf.com. I would think you could go eat it in two different places, in two, with two groups. The way we read it today. It shall be eaten in one place. Sorry. So it's very interesting. Rashi just points out that you first start out with the Chabura. And afterwards, you could divide up. You hear what's going on? You have to be one Chabura. But then you could eat in two places. How do you eat in two places if you have to be one Chabura, says Rashi? You start off in a Chabura. Okay, we're together. And now I'll see you later. Now I want to take a hike somewhere else. But there's a big chiddush here coming up that that only works with one person, maybe not with the whole chabura. You know, I don't know if you guys, I used to play in Chicago in a court. 
and there was like, in the middle of the game, all of a sudden like a mechitza would come down because it was on a timer. You know those, you know those uh, roll-up mechitzas? They have it in whatever. It was a, a cool, cool gym, came down. Oh, well, you're sitting at the, at your seder, all of a sudden, I don't know what the, that's the only thing I could come up. All of a sudden a mechitza shows up, pak, shows up. It's according to Rabbi Yehuda, Eichlin, it's not a problem. Even though they split us up, Ah, he just says, Rib Shimon says, you're allowed to leave. Oh, so that's why you have to say that you are allowed to leave, but not your whole Chabura. You can't take a whole Chabura and leave. For, that's, that's how they answer it. Otherwise, it's a little hard to understand. This I could understand. You're sitting in a room, and the Mechitza falls down. It happened in our shul once. The whole has a we lost it, yeah, all of a sudden, the mechitza opens up, like, the, the, whatever, kid pulls it, schleps it, comes down. Now, what happened? You just created a new place, says Rashi. You were in a confined place, you were in a 10 by 10 place, now it became 20 by 20. You're in a new place. If you're allowed to eat in a new place, you have to stop eating. Yes, Rav Kahana, Kopashalim Mifshat. Rav Kahana was very certain that these are the halachas as we said them. Only Rav Ashi, Rav Kahana, Boylochi, Boy. This shouldn't have been Pasha to you. How? Shaila is, see the Mechitza, Vasis Mechitza. If a Mechitza disappears, it comes, it just is born. Me have a Kishne Mikoyma, it's a Kishne Chabur is Dami. Is it considered two places? Is it considered like we have, we broke up the group? I like, take you. I say it's a take you. You see over here, it's passing the halacha, take you. The Kala turns away from her group. She's the center of attention. Jewish women are shy by nature. They're not used to all this attention. Everybody's staring at her. Kala, new shaito, the whole thing. So she turns her, her face away. Amazing story. Seriously, good story. Rav Huna was a guest. What's your name? My name is Arav Agoy and Reb Chaim Kanievsky. It's not so gishmak. You don't, you don't really, you don't see that. What's your name? Huh? Yeah, Sarah Toira. My name is Sarah Toira Reb Chaim Kanievsky. That, that's my official name. And you look, you'll see in the, in the Yated Neman, that's how they call me. Omalu Rav Huna. It doesn't pass. So something's up. Something's funny here. Ravuna. Omru, native Mara Purio. Here, come sit in the Mizrach. Yosef. Again, I don't know if this is a fact, but I believe that in like all these yeshivas, they have, the yeshivas that I went to at least, they have like a special course. They teach you like, when you become Choshev, I wasn't in these courses, but they took like the top guys in yeshiva, and they said, when you become Choshev, this is how you do it. Like they're going to say, come, come. Is you, go. you have to know how to do it. There's a certain, like this, and then, no, no, after the second time, you have to know, whatever. Right, right. I, I, you, you have like a, a velvet piece over here. And this. No, I got that in the garage sale. That wasn't, no, 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 I don't, that's not. No. Ravuna, Ravuna sat down on the spot. They didn't have to ask him twice. Poof, he sat down on the Choshev of Mizra. You have a look also, so they gave him something to drink. Kable Bechadzimno. He didn't refuse. He took it, Vishasi betrays him no. But he took he took it in two gulps. Instead of in one, it was like a small thing. He should have just taken it in one shot. And by the way, Stam, as a advice, I, I this is research that I've done. If I ever ask my guest, the guy just he traveled the place, he just came from America, he hasn't he hasn't had a drink in six hours. You want a drink? No, no, no. I don't, I don't drink. No, please, no, no. So you have to just give them drinks. You have to like, you don't just say, what drink do you want? Water or oranges, whatever. Like, but you ask a guy, that's typical. So, but over here, he just took it. He just took it. It was weird. He took it. He didn't turn his face. He didn't. Why do you call yourself Rav Huna? That is my name. That's what people call me. That's my nickname. That's my nickname. They, 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 they talk about it. Look in the back of the Masifta. Why did the Baal Shem Tov call himself Baal Shem Tov? He used to sign off, Baal Shem Tov. Is that allowed? It's a whole nidon. That, that's what other people called him. A whole zach, why he was able to do that. I found the guy, Stam, this is, you shouldn't even, because there wasn't enough litzonis. 
This guy's name is Fire Penguin Disco Panda. Stop, you should just know there's a guy like that in California, in case you want to know. So they ask you, what? That is my name. That's my name. I had Oshini Hashem, Fire Penguin Disco Panda. So all is, I think something like that. I'm not saying Chas Shalom Ravuna, but his friends, that was a nickname. Ravuna. It wasn't because I'm a Rav and I got smicha. I'm not saying I'm a rabbi. That's, that's my nickname. It's whatever the people's nicknames are. Uh, Why do you sit down and, want, and you didn't even refuse? This is the famous, famous line. And in parentheses, Chutz Mitzay. So Shaila here, do you, do you read Chutz It doesn't say Chutz Anything that, uh, that your host asks you to do, you should do. The Bach actually brings this Chutz It's Unless he tells you to go, do, go out and then do errands for him. Outside of Asa, I'm not He tells you to do sponja, you got to do sponja. I saw a beautiful Chsam Soifer. I saw the name of two people. I think the Chsam Soifer, he says that by Kamsa Bar Kamsa, the whole Churban Abayis and everything is called Kamsa Bar Kamsa. What happened? He told him to get out. And uh, he chased him out. He, he, they took him out with force. And he was upset. He was upset that nobody st- stood up for him. All the Chachamim were there and nobody stuck. St- so he went and he... He was Malshin to the, to the Malchus. So he says that after that story, they made a halacha. That's why it says, Kol But they added to it afterwards, Chutz Mitzay. You don't have to leave if somebody tells you to leave. If you're a guest and somebody says leave, you don't have to leave so that the Rabbanim that are there and they see you lifting the guy up and taking him out, they're going to say something now because the halacha is you don't have to leave. Huh? I wasn't a guest. It doesn't matter. Chutz Mitzay. You like that, Noam? It's good. Yeah. Hmm? Exactly. That's why, that's why it's in parentheses. Gershon, I once threw you out of the shear. I once threw you out of the shear. I asked you to leave, you didn't leave. <laughs> the trick is you don't let them in. My time again, you have a Oh, that guy, I know you're talking about him. For him, I have a bouncer. The guy, you don't even do anything. You just look the wrong way. He lifts you up. He has a special, he gets Hanna for the whole year because he works out. He doesn't know what to do with his muscles. He, whoop, the guy, like, what I do? Nothing. You looked over there. We're not going to have that anymore. No more parties. So why do you take it in one shot? You see this from Avram Avinu, from the Malachim. They said, oh, Avram said, but by light, they didn't care. If a gadol tells you something, you don't play games and, and shtick and anova, he says, drink, you drink. So why do you take two sips? Not one. If you drink in one gulp, you're a fresher. So I did it like derech This is the polite way. You take two sips. Shloisha. <coughs> These are the Balgaiva sips it nice and slowly, you know, the little, the teacup, the whole zap. Gasa Ruach. My time, Allah, So why didn't you turn your face away like Banova? And this is what the whole story has to do with us. Only a Kala turns her face, a man doesn't have to turn his face. Rabbi Shmob, Rabbi Yosi, Kalal Bey, Rabbi Shim, Rabbi Yosi, Ben Lekonya. Story. Yovali cost the game something to drink. Kabli bechadzim. No, he took it right away. Vishasi bechadzim, and he gulped down in one shot. Amri le lesavu lamar hashoy sekoyz v'asachas harizigaron. We learned you're fresher if you do it in one shot. Amri lo, you got to use common sense. Lo yamri bekoyz v'chaton. Maybe I should pre. I think I didn't look this up, but I'm ninety percent sure that this is the person that the Gemara says a story that when he stood with somebody else, I don't remember who, I don't know if it was Riyach, probably not, they were so big that like an ox or two oxen would go under, but it was him. It's him. Yeah. First of all, that little Kiddush cup that you do around your Kiddush, that little tiny thing that you don't have to drink in two shots. That's not what the Gemara is talking about. That's one shot. What should I do that your, your wine is... Inferior stuff. It's not the vin. What is it called, Jonathan? Not the vin. Uh, what? It was, it was the regular castel, not the. Uh, uh, yeah, petit castel, right. 
Ukraisi Rechava, and what I do, I have a very large stomach. So all these things together, the tiny cup, big stomach, bad wine, in one shot. So you have to use common sense, each, each situation in a different way. We're going now to Hilchas waiters. You could start a meal, when does the waiter have to start working? When there's one person, he has to start working. It's a lot of work for him. Start schlepping back, forth. Three people, he has to start working. Now, as they leave, he has to bring them dessert, the whole thing. It's a lot of work. Yes, they could leave. As long as this was spoken out before, that they, sorry, that they came, the ayil bi'idna, they came in a time, the regili lemeal. V'hu the ragash budayla, that he knew about this beforehand. As a caterer, former caterer, I'll throw in my two cents here. I've seen this, so I want to make a hara. You should know that when you go to a wedding and you see a big tray that the waiter brought out and has a lot of desserts on it, you probably shouldn't take from it. Why? It's not nice. A waiter is responsible for one or two tables. He has his 20 people. So he brings out the dessert for those 20 people. When you come from another table and take the dessert, that forces him to go back into the kitchen. People might not realize that. You're not doing him a favor. You're doing him a disservice by taking him. Stop. Me this type They look down at it. It's not polite. Especially in Israel, I see it a lot. <laughs> Poor guy. He brought out his meal. Now he has to run back and schlep. He has to stay on line. Huh? Okay, whatever. If it's, if it's like that, it's like that. Fine. They should give a tip at the end. The last guy who's there the longest, poor waiter, has to wait, can't go home like he wanted to go home. He this one guy sitting and taking his time. He should give a bigger tip. The lays, Hilchasik, I say, we don't pass him like him. Hadran Allah Ketzat Soylin. Hadran Allah Ketzat Soylin. Hadran Allah Ketzat Soylin. Have a wonderful day. Shem Allah is my own. Give me a sikh Adinoi. Adinoi Shem Abu Kali. You know, Zalkin Shem Abu Kali. Huh? 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 What? No, no, it can't be. Can't be. It's not true. Yeah, it's a very big agada. But stories is easy, easy. It's a joke. It's a joke. Because the Ahmed Bey's always goes faster, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It was good, it was good. Seriously, it was good to know. I understood immediately what you said. I wanted, I actually, that's what I wanted. I wanted you to say, no, I don't want your day. I wanted the Eilam's day to, to understand how, how crazy it's been. Yeah. And we just dropped down. No, the biggest we had was more than 100. But okay, fine. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Right. Matzah right. Shabbos was always... Right, but that, that shot, I told you, the shot was not test. If shot was not test, you're at home. No, no, you have to get to it. Good morning, Rabbi Yisai. How are you? What did I say? No, didn't I say Broyers? Did I say it wrong? I know it's Broyers. Why did I say Brewers? Why did I say brewers? How come nobody fixed me? Nobody corrected me, Rabbi Sai. You, you, I probably said broyers and you didn't push it in here. Huh? Wow. Wow. Him and uh, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. 
Robert Hamer, where are you? What is going on over there? Thank you so much for the What else is new? What else is new? Avi, how was it being back? It's, it's weird, no? Really? I should have built a bigger room, huh? Huh? You paid more attention. Oh. I got it already. It's in Chicago. I have to get it here. My 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 uh my shliach is not coming. What's up, guys? It's good, on, Sadik. What I want to tell you? Oh yeah, I want to be more makpid and chul now. You know, I, I another thing I realized. One mistake I made is the uh, my my kid, Lazi. If I do it in front of him, then he has no, tr- you know, no, sh- no shot. I gotta, I gotta pretend at least for him. Anyway, we'll talk. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, oh, you did this the early thing. Okay, great. Yeah, love. Shalma. Oh, I'm, there's other people listening. Sorry. You ever seen those mechitzas? They're very, very cool. What? Ulam sport? They have the, really? In ulam sport? I didn't know that. I, I play ball all the time. I never noticed one. Oh, interesting. Yeah, what? What did you say? It's what? Which one? The one that, uh, that he put me in a better seat? Uh, it's 100% MS. Ask my wife. She tells everybody. That's when I knew that he's a clever man. It was in a 90, in 93 or 4, 94. Did you ever hear about the two watches? I'm telling you, I to show you, the two watches, I couldn't believe it. The chutzpah of the guy, the chutzpah, like he didn't even happen, it was me. You know what they used to do? I don't know if they do it. When I was a, when I was a bacher in New York, they would sell you a VCR, or some sort of uh, electronic device, and you open it up, and it was a rock and a ketchup from like McDonald's. It was like like you know sucker, and not not stam that they gave it you a rock, but they also put the word sucker in there, like to stuck even more. It's like, uh, are you serious? People would pay like, oh, you want you want a hot VCR, hot VCR, like they'll run around, hundred bucks, hundred bucks instead of two hundred dollars. Huh? You buy it, you buy it, you get a rock. And they had a way of covering it with plastic. It looked mamish real. It was like unbelievable. You, you know what I'm talking about, Mark? You remember that? A friend of mine left his uh, laptop bag in the car and parked it in a garage with a He came to his next appointment. He pulls out his bag. There was two books in there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mean he knew? This is a smart Ganov. He didn't want the Ganov to. Hey, David Older, I saw, I heard your message. It was great. It was great. I sent it to my wife. The one from, uh, what is it called? Prohibition. Shkoyach. I know. What difference would it make? Let's say it was empty. He would also, uh, he, he, what are you going to do? You mean look at the cameras, do this, do that? <laughs> Who leaves a, hello, my, I left a laptop in Brooklyn in my car, and a guy broke the window in the middle of the night and took it. And the guy I was at, uh, David Schwab, he was screaming like, uh, like an attacked hyena or something. We're, it's like 2 in the morning, and we hear these noises coming from upstairs. Like, <laughs> like what happens? So I come flying out of my pajama, and like, what happened? He goes, somebody stole your laptop! Somebody. I was like, that's why you're screaming like, like somebody was murdering you? Yeah, there was a guy in, the middle of, in New York, Brooklyn. They go from car to car. They look inside, and they, they saw, like, I was shite, I didn't have. You don't leave anything in the car. Yeah, on the other hand, they, 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 they broke into my parents' house in their heights. And what did they steal? It was pushkin. It was silver. 
jewelry, they, they stole the boom box and they left the house. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, you know who it was. It's probably a 14-year-old kid. He didn't know what he was. He, he didn't need money. He just needed music. We, we, Baruch Hashem, we, uh, we convinced Avi to come to the base measure so there's no more interruptions. He can't go on Zoom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a great day, Rabbi Sai. Ellie Chopper wants you to go. Yeah, I got to go, Davin. Bye. Bye.